Well, let me introduce you to a new tool in the workshop. And that is this Adept number no. two, made in England, hand shaper. Now, why would I need a hand shaper when I've got a mill one? The answer is I've no idea, but I picked this up at a really reasonable price. Um, I used to have a Boxford shaper and that was a huge machine. It was absolutely lovely and I regret selling it ever since I sold it about 15 years ago. Um, there's a video on that and I'll link that in the description. Well worth having a look, I was a cracking shaper. Um, I picked this up, like I say, nice and cheap. Um, and I fancy giving it a go. Like I say, I've never used a hand shaper before. Um, I was really conscious of how hard it would be, in actual fact, uh, moving the cutting tool when you're certainly cutting something like steel. Um, but we'll we'll test that later. So we've got a nice long handle on it. I'll keep this video quite short. We've got a nice long handle on it there for maximum leverage. I, From what I've seen online, I'm not too sure that that is the original handle. I think that has been extended. Maybe I could be wrong there. Um, that needs tightening up a little bit by the looks of it. Um, then you've got your cross feed. Um, there was a model, I believe, that had an automated ratchet on here that would move the cross slide across. So Adept made... Uh, like I say, a, a, a modification on this. I believe actually from reading a little bit that it was actually a, a an owner of an Adept that actually made this custom ratchet that, that uh, did an auto traverse, if you like. Uh, and then Adept liked it so much that they started offering it on their um, boxwood, uh, sorry, on their hand shapers as well, but I'm not too sure how much truth is in there. Um, so we've obviously got the vertical feed, we've got the hand feed, uh, I've got my vice on here, which I'm going to probably struggle to mount down, but we'll figure that out very shortly. The height of the table is adjustable with two screws at the bottom. Now, of course, this, I, I purchased this um, and it was already on this little plinth. Uh, but of course, this meant to be uh, on the edge of a bench. Oh, that's my understanding anyway. So obviously the table would be able to go down a little bit lower than it does on here, which restricts it, but there's still plenty of uh, plenty of room for anything that I would want to do, uh, presuming I'm going to keep this. Uh, you can it looks as though you can change the angle on the on the head, um, and then I've just cut up this cutting tool. Um, well, if I'm being totally honest, there was already a cutting tool there, and I've just reshaped it and and uh, tied it up a little bit. So there's the cutting tool, and of course for anybody that has not used one before, I'm sure most people have more knowledge on this than me. For, that are watching this video but the idea is that you cut and then on the back stroke as you traverse basically it can lift up uh well you go backwards and then it drops back into position again so you cut it lifts up as you hit the back of the workpiece and then drops back down again just have a look over on this side nothing much over on this side other than the extension for the lever feed it's got a long really long reach so you could, in theory, cut some uh, quite long strokes on there. Um, yeah, so we'll get this vice mounted somehow. Um, and then we'll give it a go cutting. So we're getting quite a nice finish now. I'm going a little bit slower on the actual stroke. Okay, it's getting there. Let's keep going. Let's have a look at how that's turned out. It felt good. So that's a pretty good surface finish. That I could probably uh, top it with a fly cutter on the mill, but not with an end mill.
that's a better finish than uh, than I usually produce. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Certainly if I didn't have a mill, I'd definitely use one of these and it was nowhere near as hard to use as I expected either. Um, once you got that stroke going, it pulled that, you know, it pulled that um, material off quite nicely and quite smoothly. So yeah, really happy with that. That was uh, impressive. So there's the hand shaper. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. See you next time.